Hey guys, welcome back. This is Storm and this is episode 135 of my single player Timid World. Hope you guys are going awesomely well. So we're starting the episode with a bit of a bonfire. <laughs> I've decided I'm going to move this clock tower design. I thought it, as we we're going to add in more detail, I kind of think it is going to be too close to this building. And I was rethinking really about the location of it. Um, because when you look down this pathway, particularly right at sunset, you do get a really awesome sunset design right over the trees over here and this is going to block that so I think I will move this I probably will still have some kind of structure over here I'm going to probably make it a little bit closer to this side to give us a little bit more space from this building and still allow us to see sunset down here at night time I think that could look good so I'm going to tear all this down and then we're going to relocate this clock tower to somewhere else in the village I've increased my view distance a little bit just to show you guys um, what this area looks like down here again and how could I how could I really cover that up I mean it's uh, looks looks good during the day and it looks even better at night time so I think it was the good call to move this thing um, even though I think it could have looked good where you could look down and see like a clock or some kind of guard tower up there I think we can have a better spot and I was thinking around here somewhere that we needed some kind of structure where we've kind of got this igloo right here and I thought you know what, this is closer to the middle of town. This is probably where you would find a clock tower in a real kind of village. So why not build something over here? So let's give this a go. I'm going to try it. Maybe this turns out to be a bad idea as well and end up moving it again down there. But I think we'll give this a go. And um, kind of a little bit further away from these two buildings. So I think it might work. So what I'm going to do is probably try and figure out the center for this clock tower. I'm going to build it right around here somewhere. I'll relocate this igloo at some point. But for now, we're just trying to pick the spot. So what if we start here somewhere? I'll probably go the same kind of width as we did for the start of the clock tower that we had already started. And I'm going to go with the same design. I, I think um, that's going to work for us. So this is going to be the middle. It'll be something like this. This is how wide we'll have it. And let's just jump up. Now, I think we had the right kind of uh, height uh, combination before and the right, uh, right kind of width as well. So let's just go up and I'll have it go backwards here. So we'll have this uh, five by five area right here. So it's going to cover off the, the front here of this igloo. That's okay. We can always relocate that. And let's see what the view is going to look like from here. Um, I saw a few comments saying that you really like the view. We had started from the tower design and when it was down there, but maybe this one's can't reach that, can I? Damn it. <laughs> it's always that delicate balancing act of uh, trying to go up. Still be able to reach. Okay, so how high do we want to go here? This looks pretty good. Thinking something like this. And yeah, I'll do the same thing. So we'll just come down. I'm just going to... Uh, let's just make sure we get the right width here. That's kind of the middle there. And then this is where it's going to go up. So... <laughs> right on top of the igloo here. Okay, no worries. So let me just uh, cruise up here, build these towers, build these legs for the towers, <laughs> and then we'll think about the transition area where we'll probably pretty much make this go wider one extra block. So as I mentioned, I'm going to go for the same kind of design where we're going to have basically an, a transition area for the tower where it's going to get a little bit wider as we go up. And uh, I think we will go with a clock tire, uh, an actual clock. Yeah, clock tower, <laughs> rather than a guard tower. I think we could put a guard tower down there. I think if we even had both structures in this village, that could look pretty interesting. So for right around here, this would be a good spot, I think, for an actual clock tower. So what did we do before? I think we went out one extra block, then probably go up. Maybe go up an extra, maybe have a two block gap, something like this. I think we had something like this before. We'll have this come around again. I'll have to figure out the ends because it's going to look a bit interesting on one exposed uh, surface area where there's no bark, but that's okay. Try and make that work. Just go around. And I'm thinking where we're standing here, this is pretty much where we'll probably start to try and create the actual clock area, I think. 
So this looks like a half decent uh, height, I think. And the actual clock part. What did we do? We tried spruce before. Now I did go and collect some terracotta different combinations. Maybe we could give this a go. This could could look interesting. Let's just try this out. This is the white terracotta. I know it looks pink or kind of, I don't know, maybe... Actually, I don't know what color this is, but it kind of looks pink in a weird way. So what was that? It was three, so two more, I think. Let's just see what this looks like having a clock face of this kind of size. And then we'll have the roof part on top here again. So let's just jump down and see, do we have the kind of height figured out okay? It's not too bad. I think we have the ratios a little bit better even than the original. There you go, you can see the sunset down there. How cool does that look? Yeah, good move. I think this is a good move to move it over here. So let's just go and see if we can see the face of that uh, clock from different parts. We can see it from down here, from parts of the village here. We even cruise out here. Oh, that's a pretty cool view, right between these buildings. Like that look. Let's head on down this direction. I mean, being a clock tower, I do want it... To, uh, string. <laughs> I do want it to be visible from multiple parts of the village, because it's going to tell the time of the day. This is a nice viewing spot from along here. This uh, house will no, no doubt block it. I don't think I can do much about that. But let's see what it's like when we come on down through this pathway. There we go. Yeah, we can see it from most areas. I think this is going to work quite nice, actually. Now, I'm not com totally convinced just yet that we've got the right colour combination for this face. Um, but it's a good start. Now, I do like the original idea we had for creating some kind of box design around the clock face. I think it's going to really shape the area and make it stand out a little bit better. So I'm going to continue with that theme for this revisit of the clock design. So how do we have this? I think it was something like this. I think that could look better. Now, can I get around the front here? Don't need dirt on me, do I? I do not. Let's actually switch out. I did bring over some of these polished granite. This is actually, this is diorite, <laughs> not granite. Um, yeah, because uh, I've used this block uh, in all the other buildings here, so we should give it a go. Maybe try that better than the terracotta. Could look better, could look worse may have too much texture on it. Might need, might need to be a little bit plainer. We'll give it a go. Let's see what this looks like for a clock face. Let's jump on down again. Is that better? I think it looks better. Now when it comes to adding detail to a clock design like this, there are quite a few options. And I know a lot of people would probably put a lot more detail than I'm willing to put into a design. But uh, I think it's all personal choice. I did collect some dirt here. Just want to be able to see this from different angles while we're up the, the top area. Let's take a look here. Now, it is a square <laughs> at the moment. Maybe we could try and make it look less squarish. Um, that might give a better look. Uh, yeah, let's just do this. Sneak on up here. And now, okay, so what I was thinking of doing, we do have some of these uh, dark oak stairs, so we could try putting some of these in the corners. This will give it a roundish kind of look. In fact, it might even look... Yeah, that looks like a clock face, right? I think it looks good. I need to switch out this block. Um, but yeah, adding detail to something like this. I know a lot of people will be tempted to do a whole lot more detail than I'm willing to do. But I think to keep with the theme of the other buildings that we have here, I kind of want to keep it relatively simple. Now, I could probably add some details for... In fact, let's grab some blocks here. I do want to use some of these in the actual building design, because that is the common theme that we have. What if I did something like this? And to kind of hide it, let's do... I do have some on me. I wanted some of these slabs we go around the building like this. This could create a nice little... Uh, one that will help uh, half conceal this block here, and I think that could look good. But it's also going to give us a space to walk around, and I think this can be pretty cool. Um, even if it's like a viewing kind of section. That could be interesting. So I'll probably extend this all the way around. 
And in fact, if I'm going to do that, then what can I do here? I'll probably extend this up like this. It creates a nicer edge, I think, for the corner. What's it going to look like from the sides here? If I did the same thing. Should I do the same thing over here? Let's just do a little section. Look okay. And should we do it for the top part? That could be interesting. By having it on this uh, bottom section, it does mean that we won't have mob spawning, so that's a plus. I'm trying to think if I should do this for the top section. Maybe we should. We do have some ladders. Let's just sneak in here. Do it over here. Uh, in fact, we can just. Ah, uh, let's just do this. <laughs> Why not? It's just temporary. Let's get up here. And let's grab some of these Dara blocks. Now, what did I do before? I think I had it right on top here. And then I had the slab. Now, on the top part, I'm going to have to have it on the top block. So I have to think about the lighting for that. But given this is going to be having the roof above it, I think that would be too bad. I'm sure there's some options there for us. So it's going to be like this. I need to switch out this block. And then I'll basically extend this around the top area. Like so. Basically mirror the, the this lip of having the, the slab block. The same as we did on the bottom section. So let's put this one here. Then go down and check it out. Going to add detail. It look terrible. I think it's going to be okay. I probably have to get further away though to make sure it's going to look alright. Interesting, I can't actually see that lower section there. I can see this top one. I think that looks good. I thought I would be able to see the bottom one, but maybe I'm still too close. I have to get further away maybe. Let's try from this angle down here. Okay, now I can see it. Yeah, I guess the further away, that looks okay. And it even looks like a circle now. Looks good, I think. Gotta love that view. <laughs> Alright, so I've been working on this clock face and uh, making this lip area now complete. Same with the top one. We've got this wrapped all the way around. I've got the uh, stair blocks now in each of the corners. I just haven't put in the uh, polished dara yet and all the clock faces, but you get the idea. It's all... Coming together though, it's uh, pretty dark up here, but I was thinking about, in fact, do I have some torches? Yeah, let's just throw down a couple of torches. I'm actually not sure how I'm going to put lighting into this clock design yet, but that's a problem I have to solve at some point. Certainly in the middle, like around here. I can't place that, there we go. Probably put some kind of light source, probably a redstone lamp. But for this uh, lip area along here, I think we could make it connect to lower section of the tower a little bit better than it currently is and to do that we probably have to come down a couple of blocks how can I do that how do I get down further probably not easily because I can't hmm well this is a challenge all right so <laughs> I didn't think this through let's just jump up here can I get down to this lower section I think I can yeah let's just do this maybe Oh, I knew, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Alright, let's just go back up. So what I'm thinking of doing is having uh, this lip area connect up with stairs to the lower section here. So this is where we've got the main pillar. So if I were to dig this out just for the time being, so I can put down some scaffolding. Here we go. So we can go a little bit lower here. Get rid of these blocks. So let's see how we can make this work. Down this block back. Grab ourselves our slabs again. And this is where I'm thinking we could use... Where is my stairs? The spruce. Here we go, some dark oak. So what if we were to put down some stairs right here, actually? So, in fact, maybe something like that. Or even like that. That could look interesting. Could even get rid of that block. And that means I'll be able to get rid of that block. 
We probably don't even know, need this, uh, this area just here now of these uh, wood blocks. So let's just put down the stairs here as well. We could do it in the middle section. How does that look? We need to grab ourselves. We've got some planks. Uh, do we want to put planks here? Probably. Something like that. And then I would put down a wood block just there. That could look okay. I wonder if this would um, make this lower section here look more connected than it did before. Let's just come across this other side and we'll do the same thing. So up, down, upside down a stair. Do another one here. Get rid of this block. If I get rid of this one, I'm going to have the area on the corner there exposed. So we'll leave it like that for the time being. Let's just go around the corner and just see this is going to look like. I really don't have a plan here guys, I'm just experimenting to see what's going to work and I think something like this is going to be okay. I know it's really dark so apologies for that. Let me put down another torch. But maybe something like that is going to look okay and then we just need to put down where's my block here. Probably have to do the same over in this corner. Now, if I have these extended going up, that means I'm going to have a, an opening area right here. So maybe we could even put in some of these spruce upside down stairs like that. How does that look? And what, let's just try this out. Let's just go all the way up. Whoops, not with these blocks. I do want my wood blocks though. Let's use these. We've got to go. Whoa, how you going, creeper? It will be something like this. Now, this guy is going to ruin my day if I jump down. Okay, you're out of the equation for the time being. Okay, that looks okay. What do we think? It's pretty hard to see with the dirt there. Uh, so maybe we should get rid of the dirt. So this is what it looks like without the dirt there. I think it looks better. Um, I think it'll look even better when I've added some detail into this base tower section because all this wood makes it all blend in. It looks very dark up there. But I think the spruce stairs adds in a little bit of detail. I think that is a good look. But adding in some windows, probably like... Uh, which windows? These ones here. I'll probably do these into this main tower section. Uh, just so it blends in nicely with the other buildings. But I think that will help break up all this brown that we've got going on. Particularly right up in here. So I'm going to see if I can be sneaky and place these windows while climbing up this ladder. That should be an efficient way of doing it. Oh, I need to... Okay, that's interesting. I've got to be uh, <laughs> messing that up. Let's see if I can get rid of these. I kind of, I have to let go of shift though to, there we go. <laughs> that's better. All right, let's see if we can, not sure how many of these windows I have to put in here. Let's give this a go. All right, now let's see if I can. Be sneaky. Pretty hard to do actually. Whoops. Oh, I totally messed that up. Alright, well, let me collect some of these blocks while we're down here. Where do those other trapdoors go? Not sure, but anyway, let's creep on up here. Uh, okay, we've got this one to do. Damn it, I fell off again. How did I fall off then? I think I'm hitting the, the jump button which basically makes you fly while on a ladder. There we go. Okay, so what to do here? So this is where the base is. Uh, let's just try having a block in the middle. I'm not sure what this is going to look like from the front. And maybe in this middle section, do we have any? We do have some sea lanterns. I do want to get some lighting into the tower design itself because it will look pretty dark otherwise. I knew I was going to mess that up. <laughs> so let's get rid of this block. 
And then just on the inside, I'll just put down a trapdoor. This is what I've been doing on the insides of the other buildings. So I need to put a trapdoor on the front there, but I think you'll get the idea. How does that look? I think it definitely starts to add in the detail. Before being all the wood there, looked a bit strange, and I think this is looking more and more like it belongs here with the different colour combinations. You can see all the, the common kind of themes we've got going on, so definitely think we're on the right track now. Now because I'm an idiot, <laughs> I think I made these uh, windows up too high by one extra block. So I was originally just going to have a row of, for a window right here, and then a one block gap, then the door. But I've got a two block gap here now, so and we've already completed this other side. So I think what we could try instead, because we did put in that flower um, pot design, like the, the garden bed on the side of the building down there. Maybe this is far enough away where we could try that on this building as well. Because that will at least make the, the height work for us. So I did grab some grass blocks here. So if we were to do yeah, that at this level, that will make that work. So basically we would have a window right here. It's using black uh, stained glass panes for that. And then we'll just put down trap doors on the sides and around it. The actual bed design then hopefully that can save us. Is this is that going to look okay? Yeah, I don't think it looks too bad. I think if we had some actual tulips or something in there, that could look all right. So all of these lower sections of the tower now are complete. They all look the same. And I've just got to put some flowers into these flower beds. So let's go ahead and do that. I was thinking of using white tulips before I use pink tulips for the flower beds attached to the side of the building down there. So maybe having white uh, tulips here will look interesting. I don't, oh, I thought I couldn't reach there for a second. Yeah, I should be able to reach that. Uh, there we go. So, and do we want to put ferns in the middle? Maybe we could do that. Where's our ferns? Uh, if I can jump up here. Ooh, this could be interesting. Can I place it? Oh, I can jump up this way. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, I think it looks subtle enough. Let's see if we can do the same on this other side. Uh, where can we jump up? Switch out some of these blocks. It's funny how when you start building something, you've got a general idea of what you want to create. When it comes out better than what you were expecting, this is definitely a lot better than I was expecting. Um, it's, it's a good feeling. It's a nice way when things turn out well for you in a game like this. Okay, let's get up this way. And... This here. Now, I don't have a flower bed on this other side just yet. Uh, I'm not sure if I will. I also don't have a light source behind this block. Because that's where I've got the ladders going up. I did put a little platform here just so we can enjoy the flowers at this height level. It's a nice view. You can even get a bit of a glimpse of the town at this level. And then going up... Oh, I need to put down trapdoors here. Let's see if I can reach this. I should be able to. Okay. Alright. It's all the way up to, <laughs> to the clock tower up there. Now, let's put away these flowers first. Then we've got to think about what we're going to do for the clock face. There's a few things we could do. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, and I've also completed um, this top area up here as well now. It's all the same on all the sides. So I think we're on the home stretch. I think this is nearing completion. And I was thinking for the clock face, uh, what we could do is we could use redstone lamps. Where is the middle? This will be the middle of the clock. Uh, now, I don't want to use redstone lamps right in the middle, so if this is going to tell the time, we'll have, I think, the best way to make it look good is probably have even number, so maybe 3 o'clock or something. What time should we do it? What time of the day is it right now? Can't see the sun. It's getting darkish. All right. Oh, dark soon. What if we did, let's face it, it's going to be like this, over this direction.
Nah, let's do it over here, maybe. So if I get rid of these blocks... Now, what should we do for the middle block? What if we just put in a dark oak block? Uh, yeah, just something like that. Maybe that will look interesting. Now, where is my ladders? And let's grab ourselves our levers as well. Like, can I just put a lever there? No. Fair enough. Let's see if we can get a bit of a glimpse on the other side here. What do we think? Look alright? Could even put a button in the middle there, maybe? Where's my planks? What does this look like? land on this building maybe. Probably a little bit too dark that block. Maybe we should go for a lighter block. Maybe a spruce wood block. But I think it looks good though. And I am thinking of putting a roof design on here. So maybe it's just something that comes up like this. In fact rather than making it go up like this if we went the other way we could have a light source hanging on both ends. Kind of like what we've done over here. So maybe we'll give that a go. What do we think? This is what it looks like with the roof design. I don't think it looks completely out of place. I don't think it looks super awesome either, so I could probably go either way. Um, but I do like the overhanging or dangling lights that we do have. It's going to suit all these other buildings that we've got. It'll also help to light up the, the clock area at night time. And I am thinking of creating a little peak thing where we could probably have another overhanging light. So I think I'll do that as well. What do we think? We've got this little TP thing added now at the top here. Let's just go up and take a closer look. As I know it was a very quick fly in just then. Um, but I have added this little section to the roof. It definitely looks better from a distance than it does up close, I think. But um, we could probably play with the design a little bit more. But uh, I've added this viewing area. So we've got a door here to come out. Be a shame to have a tall structure out here without a viewing platform. So you can come out here and enjoy the view. I think it looks uh, pretty cool from up here. And uh, it looks pretty concealed as well because we've got the same coloured um, spruce door here. But for the actual clock face, I was uh, just thinking I should make a small change to that. Because we've we're using this um, polished uh, diorite block and other parts of this structure. And I thought for the actual face of the clock, we should have a different block type. I was just going to, oh yeah, I just did create <laughs> myself some uh, of these uh, concrete powder blocks. And it's a little bit different from uh, the terracotta. And I think it will add a little bit of texture without it being too overpowering. So I wanted to give this a go. Let's see how, oh yeah. But I think this is going to look pretty good actually. We'll just see what this looks like. I won't do the whole clock just yet. Let's see if we can get down without causing too much of a mess. Okay, let's see if we can sneak around here. Uh, I probably don't need this ladder here anymore, do I? No. So let's get rid of this. And at some point I did switch out uh, this block to be, uh, so the face of the block is on the outside. I'm not sure if I showed that, but I have made that change. So let's see what this looks like. If it looks good, I'll go ahead and replace the face of the clock and all the other parts as well. Let's jump onto this building. Oh yeah, what do you think of that? I think that looks really good actually. Let's get down. Let's just keep going from roof to roof. Probably because it looks, because it is a, a lighter looking block, it looks brighter than probably it really is. Yeah, I'm really happy with that look. Let's even go out further. Let's go out here maybe. Oh yes, definitely happy with that. So we've now got all the concrete powder in place for this uh, the face of the clock. 
think it looks good. I'm really happy with the texture and the way it's uh, blending in with the other blocks. And for the sides of the clock, I've just got these trapdoors in this kind of pattern. And I've got that on the other faces as well. Whoa! -oh. I knew that was coming. <laughs> Uh, okay, I can fix that. <laughs> so, yeah, as for the actual clock here, I think it turned out a lot better than I was expecting. Not exactly what I was expecting, not sure exactly, but um, it was something like this. And uh, as for the actual uh, the roof design, I'm still not completely sold if I need it, but uh, it allows me to have a viewing platform up there. Maybe that's a good thing. So you'll have to let me know what you guys think. Do you like this design? Is there anything you want me to change or improve on? And uh, I would be curious to see what you guys have to say. Alright, so I'm going to leave the video here. Thanks for watching. I'll go and repair that uh, creeper explosion just now. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, thanks guys. Cheers.